And here we go. Oh, this is a big boy bag. This is a big boy bag. Real quick, this episode is sponsored by Epidemic Sound. If you haven't heard of them, they are an amazing music licensing platform with such a wide array of music and sound effects for our YouTube videos. But not many people know about their commercial plan, which licenses music for your commercial projects. It's pretty cool what they've done, and we'll talk more about them in a second. But let's go ahead and show you some gear. So today I thought I'd make a video just showing all the gear that I use to shoot client projects. Recently, I showed you the gear that's in my camera bag, but now I wanna show you all the gear that I use in my big boy production bag. A quick update on the gear in my camera bag. Uh, I actually added a new piece of gear in my camera bag, and that is a drone. I finally have a drone again, and it's the Mavic Air 2. Freaking love this thing, and it fits very nicely in my camera bag. So yeah, so that's my quick little update in my camera bag. But let's talk about the other pieces of gear that I normally use when I go on client shoots. You ready? All right, here we go. Top down shot. We're good, we're good. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Boom! <laughs> this right here is all the gear, the essential gear that I would need to shoot any client project. You guys remember when I said that my backpack was the world's most organized bag? Well, just look how organized this bag is. So the reason why that this bag is so useful for me, especially as a filmmaker, is because I can store all the essential gear that I need from light stands to tripods to, to lights to gimbals. I can fit all that in a production bag and then take it anywhere around the world and film whatever I need to film. And so a full on production house, so to speak, in a bag, a big boy bag. All right, so this is the Think Tank uh, Production Manager 40. Is it the 40? Okay, I think it's the 40. I'm pretty sure it's the 40. If you wanna check out this production bag, then the links will be down below, as well as the rest of the gear that I'm gonna feature in this video. All right, here we go. Uh, oh no, I wanted to start here. Uh, so there's a large compartment uh, in the front of the bag. And here I like storing things like, well, this is a this is a grid that I can attach to the Aperture Light Dome Mark II, just kind of narrows down the light. And so if you want to get uh, some intimate lighting, and if you want to focus your light on a subject, then you want to attach a grid or egg crate as I sometimes call it. Uh, gotta have gels. Uh, sometimes you want to add some color to your scene, and so this is great. Anything by Roscoe, I love. And here you get, you know, you get some CTBs or color temperature blue, CTOs, color temperature orange, purples, reds, just a bunch of colors as well as some diffusion. And so, uh, so yeah, so I, I usually keep that here. It's easier to pack. I had a reflector. I don't know where it is, but I had a reflector. It was oh here it is. Here's my reflector. All right, let's open up the bag. Okay, uh, <laughs> I guess we could start, uh, let's just start right here, the fun stuff. Uh, so this is probably one of my favorite travel tripods ever. This is the Mi Photo uh, Road Trip Travel Tripod. I've had this for years and this is so reliable. And so I just take this tripod wherever I go. Here I have my gimbal. This is the uh, Zhiyun Crane 2S. I made a video about that, so if you wanna check it out, link will be up over here. But yeah, I keep my gimbal over here just because it's such a, a snug fit in this production bag. And I don't wanna have to carry uh, a, a gimbal case along with my production bag. If I can carry everything in one bag, like this big production bag and my backpack, then I'm, I'm golden. This is a little accessories pouch that I keep gimbal accessories in, like batteries and the handle and stuff like that. And so. Let's keep that there, and I just pack this right there. Next to it is my favorite slider of all time. This is the Rhino Rove Pro. I've used this so many times, and it's so rugged, such a reliable slider, and I just keep it here in its uh, in its bag. Look at that, just, just a great slider. So I pack that there, right next to my gimbal. Ooh, forgot about this one. This is great, this is a uh, black foil. This is uh, really good if you want to shape light. It's pretty much aluminum foil, but black, but it doesn't reflect, and so uh, this is just great to shape light and really versatile uh, solution for, for lighting your scene. So I usually keep that here. 
All right, so now we're gonna take a break and talk about today's sponsor, Epidemic Sound. Like I said before, Epidemic Sound is an amazing music licensing platform that has a vast collection of all sorts of music and sound effects for your YouTube projects. Not even just for YouTube videos, but you can use their songs for TikTok, Facebook, Twitter, etc. They've got a personal plan which is pretty affordable, only at $15 a month. And if you are a creative like me, chances are you also do commercial gigs as well as a YouTube channel. And if that sounds like you, then you probably should consider getting the commercial plan. With the commercial plan, you get everything that the personal plan offers, but now you get to use all their music and sound effects for your commercial projects. This is really great for all of us creatives because not only can we use the music and sound effects from Epidemic Sound for our client and commercial gigs, but say for example, you did a product review for a company and they saw and they're like, wow, we wanna make your video an official commercial for our brand and we wanna push it out and use Facebook ads, Instagram ads, etc., etc." Well, you can't let them do it because if you don't have a commercial license for that song in your video, you're gonna have to re-edit that video and use a completely different song that has a commercial license. I've had to do that a few times with some pretty big brands and it's kind of hard selecting a different type of music for your song when you re-edit the video. Like it just changes the pacing completely. But if I had the commercial plan with Epidemic Sound, I would have been like, sure, awesome. Here's the link to the video, boom. Give me money. That would have been way easier if I just had the commercial plan to begin with. It's that easy. And if that does happen to you, you just simply whitelist that video link in your Epidemic Sound profile. That easy. The commercial plan is $49 a month. Or if you want, you can save 20% and just pay for the whole year up front. And what's really cool about Epidemic Sound is that if you do decide to cancel, the music that you've already downloaded and used, that you can still use and monetize forever. It's yours in perpetuity. Did I say that right? In perpetuity. Perpetuity. There you go. And if you want, you can try them out for free for 30 days, a free 30 day trial with the links below. So definitely check them out. Huge thanks to Epidemic Sound for sponsoring this video. But now, back to the gear. All right, that's that section right there. Uh, this long section is where I place all my stands. And so this is another tripod I like to bring. So if I am doing a two camera shoot, I have my MiPhoto travel tripod, and then I have the Manfrotto Be Free uh, video tripod. It's a very simple tripod, but uh, it fits really nicely in this section. And so I just I just keep it there. So there's there's that. So here I have a couple stands by uh, by Matthews. I love the brand Matthews just because they're just they make reliable stands and just other items. But I have two of them if I'm doing a two light setup or if I'm doing a one light setup. Let me just. I can use the other stand and use a boom arm where I can actually have an audio boom setup. And so this is really cool. Uh, again, this is by, oh no, this is by Impact. Yeah, it's by Impact. Uh, essentially, I have the light stand, place it on top, and now I have uh, a boom arm ready to go and hook up my mic. Or if you want, you can hook up like a, a light if you wanna do like a top down lighting setup or whatever. So yeah, so it's a pretty cool setup where at minimum I can have one stand uh, hold a light and the other stand hold a boom mic. So, so I place that right there. Let me just. It took me a while to like get all this organized. All right, moving on. Uh, so this is the Aperture 120D Mark II. This is my main key light. I could pretty much light a very simple interview by just using one Aperture 120D Mark II. It's a, a great and reliable light. I freaking love it. And I love that it just fits so perfectly in this production bag. And so uh, that is my key light, the Aperture 120D Mark II. Uh, let's see, next to it, uh, this is really just grip stuff. Like I have gaff tape, I have this Dinkum system thing. You can just clamp onto pretty much uh, like, like a table or a thin surface. And then has a quarter 20 mount that you can attach a camera, a light or whatever. So it's a pretty versatile tool. Uh, here I got just other things. I don't know what to call this. This holds like a, like a light tube. I just keep it there. I have, um, I have a cold shoe adapter. I have some I got some pony grips and, and pretty much just clamps in general. I just keep here. So grip items I just place in that uh, this section of the bag. All right, right next to it, this is my cable bag. Uh, this is a bag made by Tenba and uh, it's like two sided. I just place my cables here, just random USB cables, uh, power cables, uh, just pretty much any cable that I think would be necessary for, for a shoot. So I place all that in this bag right here. Keep it in one place. Uh, all right, this section over here, uh, just miscellaneous items just because I have extra space uh, to put those items. This is pretty awesome. I haven't made a video about this, but this is a, a handheld uh, holder for the Rode Wireless Go. You put the Rode Wireless Go on top and you put the, uh, the foam thing 
on top of that, and now you have a, a handheld wireless mic. Pretty good if you're doing like man on the street kind of videos, and so I usually keep that right here along with some other accessories that we'll talk about. Here is a car mount that I just attached uh, the GoPro Hero 9 to, uh, really great. This one is a backpack strap mount, and so if I'm hiking somewhere, I can attach this to the backpack strap, and over here is a GoPro mount, so I can capture all that stuff while I'm hiking. And then uh, here is just uh, the GoPro case for the Hero 9. I'm not gonna open it just because it's it's boring. Just random GoPro accessories. And then next to it, just kind of more miscellaneous things. This is the uh, this is the Dead Cat. It's a, a windscreen for the Rode Video Mic Pro Plus. Really good to reduce that wind noise if you're filming outdoors. Uh, I don't use it all the time, so I just keep it right here in this little section. And just other random stuff, like these are light bracelets that I have. So, some are RGB, some are bicolor. This is from Spiffy, Spiffy Gear. They, they make some pretty fun products. You just never know if you need like a light bracelet. They're, they're pretty cool. Pew, 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 pew. Slap it on your wrist, it's, it's pretty fun. I'll make a video about this later. And then uh, let's see here, oh yeah. This is my projector. It's a, a handheld projector, uh, really pocket size. But if I wanted to do like really creative scenes like with a projector, then I could totally do so with this. The one I have is from Acaso. This actually hooks up to your iPhone. Uh, you can do it wirelessly or use a lightning cable to connect it. Uh, but yeah, pretty pretty good uh, pocket size projector. You gotta admire like how organized this bag is. Like I've done such a good job organizing this. Like I challenge anyone, anyone out there to have a more organized production bag than this. Like, no joke. I'm not gonna give you money. It's just bragging rights. And then here, this is a LiPo bag if I wanna place like a drone battery or whatever. I'm not using it to store drone batteries at the moment, but I just use it to hold like miscellaneous things <laughs> over here, cause you know, why not? So that's there, that's all there. Um, okay, let's talk about the, the mesh pockets. Uh, over here is where I have my spider checker. Uh, where I, you know, use it to help me color correct and white balance a scene. Usually with this, I film a few seconds with a color checker in it, and then in post, it'll just help me color correct and color grade. So I just keep that in there. Oh, and I attach a little handle here just because, well, it's broken, and so it helps helps it stand. Well, not right now. But anyway, that's right there. Uh, right next to it, the other mesh pocket, just other things like battery chargers, nothing too exciting. Another LiPo uh, battery holder. Uh, and oh, by the way, these LiPo battery holders are really good to travel with because if you ever travel with a drone, you wanna make sure you put the, the drone battery in one of these LiPo bags. Um, and that way you don't get questioned too much. And that way you can just carry on traveling with your drone. And then the last remaining things here, uh, just, you know, miscellaneous things like uh, extra Manfrotto RC2 uh, quick release plates, got a, a camera strap folder, peak design, uh, anchors, just random stuff. Here in the middle, just more or less the same thing. This is a dual flash bracket, really meant for like adding two flashes uh, for your camera if you're shooting weddings. I like keeping it here in case I need to compare two cameras at the same time. So I just, again, place it in the miscellaneous mesh pockets. And then lastly, I have a uh, just rain cover for my camera. So if I need to do a shoot in the rain, then uh, I can at least cover my entire camera and prevent it from being uh, wet from the rain. So yeah. Oh, and also a uh, pro tip, you gotta have some sort of silica gel packet in your bag, in any bag, uh, because when you travel, sometimes humidity uh, can damage your equipment, especially if you go to, to hotter climates and then you'll see your lens fog up and you have to like wait a few minutes before it starts to defog. And so keeping a silica gel uh, packet in your bags is always a good idea. And that is pretty much it. That is my production bag. All the essential gear that I need to film simple client videos, like interviews, if I need to shoot weddings. I can pretty much shoot any of those things with the gear here in this big boy bag and in my camera backpack. Woo! That's a big boy bag. Well, that's it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed just seeing all my gear. I, I love just talking about gear and hopefully you enjoyed that as well. Huge shout out again to Epidemic Sound for sponsoring this video. If you wanna try them out for free for 30 days, links below. All the gear mentioned, links below as well, but have an amazing rest of your day. Be good, be kind, and I'll see you in the next one.